world's changed. Some say for the better, most say for the worst. You don't know if the man you look at is gonna rob you, kill you, or he's your friend. Today, I'm out looking for my friends. A man called Leo Luciano brought me with him to this country, and a couple other boys from back of Brooklyn to find his uncle, Benito Luciano. A note was left for me by Leo, telling me that he was heading west in search of a settlement that we'd heard information about in a town we'd previously visited, in hopes to find a lead on his uncle. So today I go out looking for them. My name is Ronnie Brambilla, and this is my story. After following the trail of my companions, I found myself in a town called Vibor. After seeing signs of life passing through, I decided to take a break and gather my resources and make myself something to eat. You know, a man's gotta eat out here. Cause if you don't, you're gonna quickly die. Hey, somebody about?
Hey, how you doing? And here they are, my friends. To my left is Vito Enzo, a man I don't know too well. This work will lay over a very long time. Someone that he trusts, someone that he cares for. And to my right is Marco Mariano, also commonly known to us as Pussy. But let me tell you what, he ain't one. I can fucking tell you that much. Lost. If it know. isn't fucking Ronnie. I've been trying to talk to you forever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that Leo down the road? Ah, oh, Jesus, I'm about to shoot him, but he's fucking down. Hey, you got very fucking lucky there. Uh, I thought that Leo. <laughs> and then there's the boss man himself, Leo Luciano. A man who I respect with my utmost heart. A man who I would lay down and die for. A man who I see as my boss, my Don. He is my leader. So you've been busy with the fucking gas station. Oh fuck. Yeah, I wanna uh I'm gonna go to this party today, so uh what do you yeah. guys think? Yeah, what party? Uh there's a little uh, show in Galkino that we gotta go to. Just gotta figure out how to fucking get there. Yeah, hey, do you want the map? Uh, yeah, sure. We can take a look at it. I can't read that shit. It's in Russian. Figure it out. Of course, figure it out. Yeah, so that's what we did. We, f we figured it out. We remembered there was a tourist map in town. One with English translations on a big wooden board. It's commonly used by the hikers that would come into the country and walk across all the fucking trails they had gone from the woods. At least it gave us a better idea of what we were actually looking at. Here we go. Here we go. Ah, yeah, this isn't fucking English. Oh, uh, Patino, we got Galkino. Gal Vico. Gal I can see it to the left. I see Gushno. Left, left, or. On the map, far left is like a fucking cat. <laughs> that's, that's where some of our friends are, Machinko. <laughs> yeah, you see it? I see Shinder Stock. Where the fuck, Where the fuck do you see? Oh, oh, oh I see right there. It's near fucking Baga, Baga Tenai, or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah. That's a small town. Where? There you go. You see that? Where, uh, where the red dot? You see to the right left the red dot? There. There's like a fucking castle. Hey, by the little, uh, uh yeah, the Kolana, uh, place. That, that small town in Galkino. Ah, oh, I see it. Right below the, the red castle, yeah. Yeah. Well, we had to, we, so we have to go up and left, I guess. You think you guys can lead the way if uh, use a compass or some shit? Yeah, I think yeah, we can find the way. You. It's a good one. Hopefully we're not going there for no reason. Be west, correct? Yeah, because... Yeah, I say we find the fucking castle. We can find our way from there. Yeah. All right. Let's head west. Oh, the castle. Yeah. Yeah, let's cut through this. Yeah. When life gets you down, don't have to do it alone. When your head's hanging low.
light I left it on your own There ain't no shame in killing pain Well, Mary Jane, you done it again Don't think about it till the morning's raised Keep pushing it down and it might go away some people do it on the holy word They got the spirit of Jesus filling up the void There are shines blue on mine are red Please explain to me why we can't be friends I see you running from the truth, don't have to try to pretend If you were really born again, you wouldn't see through a lens on the hill. What the fuck is this shit? Oh, even getting ready. It has a fireplace too. I mean, we could try it off. the home of a fucking serial killer. Yeah, you can't deny the fucking view. Do you feed me fucking dog food? Can pork. Make a small fire. Fucking fireplace in here, too, from what Puss was saying. Get this fire going, this guy's fucking freezing. Yeah, my balls are like fucking turning blue. Did a girl get you excited? No, I got frostbite on him. Like these, reap the small things in life. Again. Grab a little something. That over there, building right up here. Could be the place. town we're looking for. No, that's that's why they put the place in that place in there. I mean, oh. it might be, it seems like a little small village, huh? I guess. The doors are wide, the fuck. I can tell somebody's been through here. There's a yeah. gas. Come on. The backpack on top of this car. Whoa, is anybody in town? Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Surprisingly, I have no. I have. 
have a more gas tank. Something. There's a radiator in this big tank. Yeah, baseball bat. Oh. Yeah, Ronnie. Yeah. Hey. Which way are you? We're at Radio Leo. Like it's right in front of you. Hey, thank you, pussy. Yeah, I yeah. am. <laughs> you better have that. Doesn't match mine. Uh, but you got a couple we'll more houses. We'll keep these all. Hey, there's the castle, though. guys. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. I think there'll be a map over there that does uh, a bit more accurate where the fuck we're meant to go. Whisper, whisper. Bit of builds over there. What? Yeah, let's just let's just walk up very nonchalant. My gun up. <laughs> yeah, put your gun up. Got shit. To the left. Oh, where's where's push? Back from safe. God fuck. Fuck. Oh, hey, Jesus, fuck. kid. Hey, fire going. Ronnie, you be the talk, okay? Represent us in a positive light. I'll do my best. Gonna lie, I ate some fucking cat food back at the castle because I was so. Yeah, I think we can do some proper fucking food. <laughs> Jumping for just about food back there. Thought I seen a snake. Had this year hard times around here. There we some. Is anyone home? Hello? Anyone home? I'm gonna take a seat and have a smoke. Yeah. Alright. Nice, I like the little Holy lake. shit! Place what? funny. Fuck me. Like All this shit, shit back here. You got bomber jackets, you got jackets, you got flare guns, I see you. I see you got a... Uh, I see you got a little... I think that's a long one, I see. 
Yeah, I'm gonna drive back to see. Eat. Is there anyone home? Hello? It's man, it got a little gas pump right here. Oh my. Come on, you fucking broad. Yeah, you. About this, like a fucking lot. There ain't no one in town. fucking food over here. Jesus. Do you want to try reaching out on your fucking radio? Yeah, yeah, I got in contact with the uh, boss man. You know, he's wanting us to go meet him at the... Uh, his fucking, uh... You know, his, where he lives. Is it near like, here? Uh, the town was Mashinko. Pretty sure it was Mashinko, but near Vibor and Pistoka. So back the way we fucking came. Yeah, no. I'm not in any rush to get over there. Yeah. I think we can uh, get there a bit quicker. We just go back the other fucking way we, uh, went towards the castle. Yeah, or well, if we find, the uh, the fucking city or something. I'm tired <laughs> of hiking through the woods, you know. I'm not, uh, I'm not built for this kind of shit. Yeah, no, you and me both. Oh, uh, no, especially you. You're getting way too old for this shit. Yeah, boy, I'm telling you, boy, he's about like... Me. About like 85, right? You cheeky fuck. I'm 54. How many times do I have to fucking tell you? 50 fucking four. Same number. What do you think about the... How do, how do you feel about your ranking, boss? You got any complaints? No. Are you fine with being a soldier? Yeah. Okay, good, because you don't have a choice anyway. <laughs> no, put it this way, puss. Once new people come through, you know, you're gonna be the boss of them. Yeah, once we, uh, if we ever do expand our numbers, you know, I'll make you a capo. And I'll make sure you got your own little, uh, lackeys, you know, you can, uh, do whatever the fuck you want with. They'll probably just be associates, you know? It's gonna be hard to find Italians around here. Yeah, the ones we have found, the, uh, you know... Not exactly the, uh, open type. Yeah, it's, uh... <gasps> they've already established the reputation. Yeah. Yeah, so you, uh... Thought about anywhere to, uh, set up shop? down. Uh, to be honest with you, there was one place, you know, it kind of caught my eye. It's, uh, it's over there in, uh, to the northeast. Pretty much on the opposite side of the fucking country from me. <laughs> Big fucking tower right there. I was kind of thinking about maybe there. Yeah, what place is it near? Uh, it's near, uh... Seven grand. Oh... Uh, oh, yeah, I know the fucking place you're on about. I think. Well... I know Yeah, grand. I think it's like Novo it's Dimitrios. Good. I don't know how to pronounce that shit. Yeah, it might be worth fucking Shit. checking out then. Hopefully, yeah. Uh... Yeah, yeah. 
Definitely need to check it out. A very nice place, you know. Reminds me a little bit of New York. Not nearly as nice, but you know. Something. Well, is it gonna be like the fucking closest thing you get? Closest thing we'll get. More like I'm away on a fucking holiday resort up in the fucking Canadian Rockies or some shit, man. In the middle of a fucking European apocalypse. Huh. We still, uh, we still need to, uh, you know, go talk to the mayor of that one town. Oh, well, I can Gotta keep getting on his good side, you know. Oh, nah, yeah. Oh, ah, well. We don't want him to think, you know, there were fucking criminals or murderers or anything like that. If you would just let me sweet talk, man, I'll uh, make him think otherwise. Yeah, you know, uh, you are very charismatic for an old guy. Well, that's just my job. Plus, he's, uh, he's not really the sweet talker. He's more the, uh, yeah, see, he's got his gun, his piece in his hand right now. Th this is why he's the soldier, you know, he's always ready for fucking war. He's got him a plate carrier over here. Look like he came out the military. Yeah, well, boss is always ready Did you for serve in a war? Places. Hmm? Did you serve in a war, Push? <laughs> no. He's a tough bastard. You remember that time he took the bullet? Oh, I fucking do. Went down like a fucking ox and got back oh, up man. again like the fucking resurrection of Christ himself. It's fucking biblical. Take that. Yeah, it is biblical. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Honestly, boss, I could've used it when I was in fucking LA. One fucking schmuck out there, you would've quickly shown a fucking listener. Yeah, me. tell me some stories about... You gotta tell me some stories about that, now we got some time. Ah, oh, fuck, well, where to begin? <laughs> what, what happened when you first got there? It's not, yeah, start from the very beginning. Well, when I first got there, I uh, got off the plane and I couldn't find a fucking taxi rank or a fucking... That was meant to be like a fucking troop line or something like that, like a little train that fucking ran. That was fucking not working for some reason. So I had to fucking... I walked from the airport all the way into the fucking city. Took a long fucking time. And I made some guy, I think his name was fucking, uh, what was it? Micah, that was it, Micah. He took me around the fucking, uh, the city trying to find a fucking, uh, room I could rent out. Which I eventually did. I ended up working in a bar for a little bit, too. Because swore I heard something. Somebody's walking around or some shit. I don't know. I guess these infected are fucking just driving me crazy. Yeah, I think they're getting to all of us, but... I'm sorry to interrupt, though. Yeah, that's good. It's always good I to seem do. to do that a lot. Well, it's best to stay in your fucking toes. But no, you either you ever yeah, meet I a fucking right, group of fucking uh, mafia men called the fucking Benellis? No. The Benellis? Yeah. Loka? Uh, the fucking. I think, I, I think I've heard of them. Yeah, have you ever meet a Loka Benelli? Sounds no. familiar. Yeah. You don't want anything to do with that. 
Oh, it's weird, the fucking, his cousin. He was a fucking Benelli Thor, but he was called Ilum Bones. Not fucking Ilum Benelli, Ilum Bones. Explain that Interesting. one. Interesting. It's, uh. Yeah, that's something else for sure. Yeah. What they fucking want, Leo. Yeah. Look, uh, let's see, it was about, uh, what was it? 24, 25? Fucking 21, you could have ran fucking circles around and how to run this fucking shit. <laughs> the shit we do. I mean, Jesus Christ. That kid was a fucking chooch. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> you, you fucking love this one. At one point, the fucking... The boss, Danny, he, uh... Which was, uh, Ill He pissed off for about a month before I fucking joined up. And, uh... It was just fucking, uh, look at this broad. Lovely woman called Anna. And, uh... You know, here her and Luca, you know, they're, they're working together, you know, getting shit done. And then uh, one day they did a real good job. And Luca went, you know what, I'm gonna reward you. She went, with what? They're like, with a date with me. <laughs> so he forced her on a fucking date as a reward. Oh, good lord. Yeah, no. And then, apparently, after Puss needs to get home some puss. I'll tell you what, puss would be a fucking ten times the man Luca the fucker was. Jesus Christ. Oh, I believe it. Oh, but I met some fucking good people out there, though. Met Anna. Met a fucking uh, kid with blue hair. He used to fucking whip around town in his fucking fastest fuck car called Z. Or oh, Zayden, but we always call him fucking Z. Maybe, maybe uh, after uh, all this shit is done with this fucking virus or something, maybe he can take me back there and. Show me the things that you saw out there. <laughs> I tell you what, you. We have to fucking go to LA. I'm definitely fucking giving you the grand tour. Hell yeah, I'm down for that. There was a fucking guy who joined up with us who was, uh. Warned to be a fucking yank, but he wasn't. Called David. He was a fucking there. Uh... David. I know a guy named David. Fucking junkie. Yeah. Well, this one wasn't a junkie. He was just a fucking. He had like that fucking crackhead energy, you know? Like you'd be in the middle of a conversation with somebody, you'd just say. Cowboys. Oh, yeah, he's fucking. Had the cowboy hat on all the time, but you'd be in the conversation, like a serious conversation with somebody, and you'd just be in the corner fucking laughing at somebody who's fought up in his head. No, I actually ended up fucking adopting two people into my family. Nico and Chrissy. Nico and Chrissy. Yeah. They yeah, I wish been... I could have met the gays. Yeah, well, they should have been getting fucking married. Maybe I still can, eh? Yeah, one day. Someday. Maybe in LA. Oh, but Chrissy... Probably not any time soon, though. <laughs> I tell you what, though, Chrissy, you, uh... You don't want to fucking challenge her. She's, uh... Oh, she can fucking run. Even us. I fucking... Part of me fears that she can run fucking circles around us. Mentally and probably physically, though, for me. <laughs> Very fucking headstrong, that broad. Those Nico. I don't know if to save my life or just fucking hold the floor. 